For this activity, you're going to need a muffin tin or an ice cube tray and a variety of objects of different sizes and textures, different colors. They could have different tastes, different smells. Make sure that you do have like quite a few of each item because part of this activity is a matching activity. So you want to make sure that you have a few of the same color or the same size or the same item. Now you want to take all of the items that you have and put them basically in a big pile and just mix them all around. Before you bring in your kids to start playing with this activity, make sure that none of the pieces are too large to fit in the tray. And as you can see, as I'm demonstrating here, they will be placing the objects inside the ice cube tray. Um, I'm sure Eva will probably match up like objects. Mila probably will just benefit from picking up each of the different sizes of objects and placing them in. Now, uh, let's go ahead and bring in Eva. This was a really neat activity for Eva. I made sure that I added in a few objects that Eva wasn't totally familiar with, so it did give us a chance to kind of discuss what these new objects were. Eva has quite a severe speech delay, and one reason I like doing a lot of these activities is because it does give me a chance to help expand on her language. We were discussing how the different items feel, and this may be the way that they smell, and a few of them the way that they tasted, and yeah, the different colors, and what these items could also be used for. Now I decided to alter this a little bit, so you will be needing a cardboard tube and some scissors. I wanted to incorporate into this activity, using these same items, something that would help with sound. So for this, it's dropping the items down the tube into a bowl. Of course, depending on what the item is will depend on what kind of sound it makes, whether it's a loud sound or a quiet sound or a soft sound, or maybe there really isn't any sound. So that gave us an opportunity to talk about you know, the different ways that things sound. A way to also, of course, alter the sounds would be to use a variety of different bowls or containers for the items to drop into at the bottom. 
So plastic bowls, of course, would make different sounds than a metal bowl or a foil, maybe tin. There's many different things you could use. Well, Mila wants to join in, so we're going to bring her in to have some fun. Mila, of course, was very interested in feeding me the food and was very insistent that I was going to eat it from her. And it was actually interesting to me that Mila did actually start to match up some of the items. Feeding mom. <laughs> this really was a really good activity because not only was it helping for fine motor skills, but the sounds and then, of course, the tastes and just the way that the different things felt. It really gave us an opportunity to talk and, and definitely discuss all these different things that were going on. I find that with Eva, because of her speech delay, the more opportunities I can create where she has an interest in what we're doing definitely gives more of a chance that she's going to start using more language and she'll pick up more things. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe for more videos.